this video we will be doing what's in the book on page 15 connecting the longitudinal slide to the cross slide I will put up the list of items that you will need to do this job and give you a second to gather everything together just in case you want to do it along with me I've got a seven millimeter nut driver to help uh, loosen and unloosen those and along with that what you don't see here that we will need of course is the let me grab that screwdriver didn't put the screwdriver out well screwdriver's out all right grab all that stuff and come on back All right, I nice see you back. Uh, this is a pretty simple move, but just in case there's any problems or any bonus stuff, we'll do it together. All right, simple this one. Uh, put the little handle in there. They are a little tight, so it's difficult to tell if you're going to cross thread it or not. But once it comes in smooth, you can even turn a crank in the direction to get it to tighten down enough. If you want, it's got a screwdriver slot there that you could tighten it more with a screwdriver. I myself prefer not to. These I kind of like a little loose, just in case I need to pull them out right away. Alright, and uh, throw the handle on this one too. What would be nice on this one if when you're putting this handle on that when you cranking it down of course this one's a little stiffer and didn't get lined up in there right while you're turning it down it's moving this deck out which is good that's our next step crank it until that deck completely falls out keep cranking keep cranking let's get that out gonna need that loose there it is it's loose on this end now to help you do that that's where this nut driver comes in and loosen each nut along with that it should spin the bolt out too that unloosens the pressure on this little Teflon tensioner here so uh, slide that out uh, take that tensioner out and set it aside so you do not drop it on the ground step on it crack it and lose it all right so simple move on this one is the next we uh, mount this on to there and we want the handle facing to your right this square window facing uh, away from you up top and these binders to hold it all together make sure the bolts on the outside the extra space is on the inside so it's not overhanging catching on something getting in the way pretty simple setting these screws in there
just a slight hand torque, nothing too tight on that. All together. All right, now we need to put this back on there. You'll notice there are notches, four of them on one side of this, and there are unnotches on the other side. The notches you want to be lined up against the screw holes there, so it has a more even pressure. And of course, you want the handle crank facing towards you and those notches out so you line that up take a peek in there so you get that bushing in straight bring it back Totally uh, get that crank to engage. Bring it in right about the middle there. Set these bolts back in. Give them a spin. Forward and back looks good. Left and right looks good. This was a simple build, but just in case there was any problems or questions on how it was supposed to go, we got it covered just by 